Hi everyone, welcome to Diana's Table. Today I want to share how I make marinated soft boiled eggs. And of course you have to learn how to make soft boiled eggs perfectly. And I have this really beautiful eggs today. Uh, my friend brought them from her farm. And as you can see, all the colors are so different and so beautiful. So I'm really excited to make this. So let's get started. So most people actually uh, boil the eggs in boiling water, but I prefer to do it in a steamer. So actually I'm steaming the eggs rather than boiling the eggs. So I'm putting about um, one fifth of the pan and I'm waiting for the water to boil. I'm going to use these steamer baskets and you need it with the legs. So the water should not touch the eggs, but water should just come up you know, two thirds of the leg. I put the eggs in onto the steamer. It's so beautiful, I love these eggs. And of course the size of the eggs will vary. Uh, and of course that means that you'll have to adjust your time. But for these eggs, this size, um, sort of medium to large eggs, I'm going to be steaming it for probably seven minutes to get that perfect soft boiled eggs. So as you can see, the water is boiling. I'm going to put the caddy inside like this, and you have to push the handle in. And once I cover, I'm going to turn the timer on for seven minutes. So let's wait. So now we have about 23 seconds, 20 seconds left. As soon as the timer goes off, I'm going to turn the heat off. Two, one. Okay, turn the heat off. Ooh. See, I can take it out without burning my hand. I will put it into ice bath. This one cracked a bit, but we'll still put it in. I'm going to let it soak for about 10 to 12 minutes. And while we're waiting for the eggs to cool down, I'm going to make the marinade. In order to prepare the marinade, I'm going to prepare the um, vegetables using half of a medium onion. You just chop it small. Thin green onions, again, chop into small pieces. And just to add color, um, you can use really hot spicy uh, red pepper and also spicy green pepper, but because we don't really like to have things too spicy with our eggs, I'm going to use red paprika here. Just maybe um, three sections. So half a paprika. And again, here you want to have it the same size. And I have one onion here, I mean one lemon, that I've actually cleaned the skin with baking soda. I'm going to use half for juicing and the other half to put into the um, marinade itself. So I will cut into half and slice it into thin pieces. Before you put the uh, lemon into the marinade mix. Be sure to remove all seeds. You don't really want the seeds to be floating around. So this lemon particularly has a lot of seeds. I'm going to put in low sodium soy sauce that we made at home. You can use actually store-bought uh, low sodium soy sauce. Um, I just like to you know, make it at home and you can refer to the episode before. So add 
about 250 milliliters of soy sauce, equal amount of water as soy sauce. It doesn't really matter how much soy sauce you add, you, as long as you add equal amount of water to it. Here, um, remember I used a half of the lemon sliced, and this is uh, the other half juiced. So put that in. I'm using light brown sugar, organic sugar, four tablespoons, and three tablespoons of um, agave. This will you know, add to the sweetness, but not make it too sweet. And then, of course, sesame seeds, whole sesame seeds. So the sauce is ready. You just mix it and you don't have to boil it because you don't want to overcook your soft boiled eggs. So when you marinate the soft eggs in this marinade for over a day, then the outside will be sort of dark and this uh, seasoning will go into the egg, but it will not be too salty. So I will peel the eggs now and put it into the marinade. So I'm going to um, peel the eggs. One of the tricks to peeling it so that the skin is really nice and smooth is when you look at the egg, there is uh, one side that's a little bit rounder and the top side, which is pointed. Take the rounded one and tap it onto the fl floor or the board. This is where there's a little bit of a vacuum space and in that way it's really easy to peel the egg. And you, you need to have, you know, water handy. And it, it should peel off very smoothly. Because this is soft boiled egg, I want to be very careful, very, you know, touch it tenderly. You don't want it to be breaking in any way. It's good. And you can tell that it's soft boiled egg because when you touch it, it's really nice and soft, not firm, right? So if you can, find a uh, narrow and long container because that way you can make sure all the marinade will cover the eggs. So I have now peeled all the soft boiled eggs. I'm going to stack them into the container like this. Then I will pour the marinade over. We fill the container with the marinade and the eggs. It's nice to have the sauce and the vegetables layer in between. I'm going to cover this and put it in the refrigerator for a day. So after 24 hours, the outside of the egg will become very nice and golden brown or dark, but the inside, when you cut it open, will be nicely soft boil. Let's come back after 24 hours. So here we have the uh, marinated eggs. It's been a day and I'm going to serve it for my husband. Let me see if it works. Here, one for you. Thank you. And put the sauce on top of the freshly made rice. Can you do it with a knife? Cut it with a knife and see whether it's really soft boiled egg. Ooh, look at that. Looks beautiful, doesn't it? Yep. So mix mix it and mm. let's see you eat it. Let's see how you like the taste of the first bite. Okay, here we go.
Okay. <laughs> Here goes it. Mm. How is it? Not Very too good. salty? No, not at all. Not at all? Very good. Good. You like it. You like it? Mm. Oh, that's good.